Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be sharing with you a publicly available tool that I have found on GitHub, Clematis. This awesome tool converts PE files such as EXE and DLL into shellcode with additional features such as compression algorithm and obfuscation. We will be testing out this tool, Clematis, on both EXE and DLL to see if they will be able to bypass the latest Windows Defender. As shown in the screen, this is the GitHub page of Clematis. It has all its features listed and instructions on how to install it and run it. The reference to this GitHub repository will be provided in the video's description, so please check it out. Alright, without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's git clone the github repo onto our Kali machine and install the necessary dependencies as suggested on the github page. Once that is done, we should be able to execute Clematis without any errors. Let's generate the exe and dll files with msf venom, setting the payload to be the metaprinter reverse shell. Alright, let's try out EXE first. Let's use Clematis to convert the EXE metaprinter file into shellcode. Nice, the raw shellcode.bin file has been generated by Clematis. We will need a launcher program now to execute the shellcode. Let's quickly come up with some C++ code to do so. We can simply ask ChatGPT for help on this politely. Let's copy the C++ code provided by ChatGPT and cross-compile it on our Kali machine to produce a Windows EXE binary. No errors at all. ChatGPT is freaking awesome. Now let's hop over to our Windows machine. As shown in the screen, all of Windows Defender features are enabled except automatic submission. Let's test this out by copying a Mimikatz binary over to our Windows machine and see Windows Defender in action. Now let's fire up MSF console and set up a listener for our incoming Metaprinter reverse shell. Alright, now let's transfer over the launcher.exe file and also the shellcode.bin file. Whoa, no detection upon dropping onto this. That is great. This dialog is expected since we have automatic submission turned off. We can simply dismiss it. Now let's execute launcher.exe. Okay, there is no detection. Now let's hop back to our Kali machine. Awesome, we have a Metaprinter reverse shell. We have successfully bypassed Windows Defender with this. Now let's try out the DLL format to see if Clematis will work again. We will need to modify the source code to read the DLL shellcode file instead of the .exe file now. One improvement you could potentially make is to load the shellcode file remotely. Oh, we forgot to generate the shellcode with Clematis for the DLL file. Let's do that first. Awesome, it worked again. Clematis was able to generate shellcode for both EXE and DLL successfully without any errors, and both were functional.
Alright all, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you are interested in learning about hacking Windows Active Directory and have a feel of how it looks like, there is a playlist available on my YouTube channel over here. It has 4 episodes which showcases the common scenarios you might encounter and what kind of tools you can use to test a Windows Domain Active Directory environment. Alright guys, all credits belong to the author of the tool and again, the link to the GitHub page of Clematis will be provided in the video's description. So be sure to check it out. I hope you all have found this video to be useful. I am always happy to share publicly available tools that I have found with you all. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far, either from my buy me a coffee link or YouTube super thanks. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. Alright all, thanks for watching and please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.